hello today i'm going to show you what is the use of function in php and what is the advantage of function why we need this function in oop what is the advantage of this function so first of all i am going to create one new php file new dynamic page php now i am going to save this file this file name is function it is not mandatory that you have to use this only function.php file name you can use anything but for professional i use this functions.php now i have to perform addition operation uh, just for example uh, i am going to create this index.php in this file i need to addition uh, after a few few minutes means i need to make addition uh, more than 20 to 25 times then this function is useful for me now i am going to show you why this function.php and why this function is useful for us now i am going to create one function function name i take addition in this function i take two variable dollar first dollar second okay now i am going to create one variable dollar tot it, it is known as total is equal to dollar first plus dollar second and now i am going to return this dollar tot okay so i create this function now this functions dot php i have to include over here include function dot php okay now here i can write echo now our function name is addition so i am going to call this function addition and i need to pass to value i pass 80 and in this second i pass 20 now i am going to run this file we have here our file you can see here i get here output 100 now yes so you can see here we get is output 100 okay now i am going to pass here 800 and 20 so you can see here oh, sorry you can see here we get output 820 so you can see i have to write just call the function i don't have to use a plus minus whatever now again i am to pass this function again and now i am going to pass 80 plus 20 and now just pass here dr so you can see here i get output under so you can see here i use this function again and again so i use this function re uh, you i can make this function of reuse again and again so this is the advantage now the more thing is the real life thing is now you can see here i have so many table and so many database in my mysql now sometime what happened i have to need to count this uh, tables total draw again and again so for that time also i can use this type of function so i am going to create this function so you can see how can you make this dynamic function function uh, total row and now we are dollar db name and dollar tbl name now i am going to do your database connectivity mysql connect here localhost root and now i am going to pass here mysql select db and here dollar db name and now dollar res is equal to mysql query now here we have to write here select query select star from and table name should be dynamic so we have to pass here dollar tbl name now here dollar tot is equal to mysql number of rows and here i have to pass dollar res and now again i have to do return dollar tot okay now i have to use this function so i am going to remove this all and now dollar tot is equal to tot1 
and here I have to decide which tables record we have to fetch which database name so our database name is this so I am going to pass here our database name our database name and now here we have to give our table name I want to get this table record stat list so I copy this and paste over here and now here we have to write it for total records are is equal to dollar tot1 dollar tot1 and now you can see here i get here total records are 1000 so you can see here yeah total records are 1000 okay now if i want to get records of another table like this i have this database gets us to mysql then it should be very easy i have to just pass here database name and pass here only table name and we can see here output you can see here i get output as a seats so we can check here yes we have seats records here and if you want to get this this function two times at a time then it is okay just copy paste now change database name i am going to here database name checkbox so we have to pass here only database name checkbox chckbox and i am going to run this so you can see here i get here four so in table one we are going to check you can see here we have here four records and we get output total records are four so this is the most important advantage of function if this function is not available this type of facilities are not available then what happened you have to write these five lines again and again again and again again and again and in this you have to just call this function and you have to make code only one time but you can call that call multiple times so this is the advantage of function thank you so much for watching my video